All right, so we got the first box opened up here. I think we're gonna go for some fun here. We're gonna try to use the French instructions to put this together. Uh, Farrah is not fluent in French and neither am I. So this might make it a little more interesting. It sure looks like a lot of screwing. All right, so sor sorry for the wind noise here. You can see the old existing pad here pair of put bricks down in the inside of the other one it worked really good to help once everything got heated up it held a lot of uh, thermal mass through the through the nighttime and the cold evenings and overnights so there was two boxes this thing came in opened the first one up got everything out second one we still got a little bit there but so far everything we're laying out everything is really numbered fairly well on the end you can see all that we got everything laid out uh, for the most part here so should be fairly straightforward to get it together um, hopefully there's no chalk outlines or anything laying in or we're gonna have in the grass or anything that's, like that's a, that. that that's a serious possibility okay all right so start trying to get this thing together these are I guess the uh, two we'll start putting the end wall together is look what it looks like first here in the instructions so We'll get that together and show you what it looks like here in a minute all right, all right here so you can see we got one front i guess this is the front wall this is where the door will be so the front wall went together probably in about five minutes pretty easy all right so that took a little bit longer you can see you have to put two of the the panels in there there's tape that goes on the top edge and the bottom edge of them i guess that's All right, so you can see the front wall, I guess assembly, whatever you want to call it, is all together. So we're going to call it good for today and pick it up tomorrow evening. All right, so today's the evening of March the 11th. You see we got the, this is the back wall here. It went together fairly quickly. Uh, we got to put, start putting the windows in. You can see that, well, maybe. There you go. Now you can see them. Uh, They've got some protective film. There is an inside and outside uh, that you got to pay attention to. And then there's some tape that you got to put over the edges. So this is like a, a um, it's just not a single panel. It's, it, uh, it's got some uh, inside and outside. And I don't know what, it's like a honeycomb type material, I guess, on the inside there. So you got to seal the edges off, I guess, so you don't get water in them. Uh, so we'll work on that next. There's the uh, front panel together, a little better view. It gives you some idea how tall this thing is. So I think it's it's probably, uh, it's not standing all the way up, but it's probably, you know, I don't know, nine foot at the peak there, something like that. Looks good so far. Beautiful evening here in Southern Indiana, except there's a burn pile in the way. See the lake looks nice out there this evening. Should be fishing. All right, so here's that tape you have to put down the edge of the, uh, the panels. There's one specific for the bottom. the bottom here, and then there's a solid gray one uh, here for the top. Base. All right, so That's evening of day three, so we probably uh, have got, I'm guessing, two hours so far in putting this thing together, somewhere in there. So the you see the top, uh, the door sides on top, and then the uh, the back wall is on the bottom there. I think the next parts are going to be some of the um, T's. It looks like a T you're putting together for this <clears throat> for the side wall here. All right, that was fairly easy. So that T uh, was the bottom bottom board, and then the upright there. If it'll focus, there we go. And then uh, you add the two side panels in. Those are already pre prefabbed and put together. They screw in on the bottom edge there. There's four screws there, and then there's a 
corner bracket that goes right there on each side. All right, so we got the back wall and the two sides, they're screwed together now. So now we'll put the, uh, the front of the uh, greenhouse on. So four screws, I think, is what uh, held the back to the sides and four will hold the front to the sides there. And just like that, the front is on. So that went uh, went amazingly well. What do you think, Farah? I think a bird already pooped on it. Yeah, that's crappy. So this is where you had to check corner to corner. So we went from here to there and there to over here. So... We got that square now. The sills will go in just like uh, these here. All right, so here's some of these corner brackets that go in. That's the upper. There's some at the base. Some in the other corners here. Under the center support, if it'll focus, maybe. That's better. The one thing I did uh, did do these bottom ones down here. They are kind of, especially if you're working on a on a pad or whatever. It's already done. So the square drive they give you in the kit with the screws is kind of short. So I ended up getting one of these longer ones so you could get down in here and get away from the the uh, the edge or the bottom, I should say. So you're uh, your driver sits kind of flat. So that did help getting the longer one. I don't know what that is. That's probably five inches long or something square drive. Yeah, so we'll call this good for tonight. Come back tomorrow, start working on it again. Should get quite a quite a bit done tomorrow, I would think. Hopefully get the all the roof put in there and the side panels. So going fairly well. We'll uh, do it again tomorrow. All right, so today is Wednesday. We're back on the uh, greenhouse build here, so we'll see what we can get done tonight. Beautiful evening down here. It's probably about 73 or 4. 76, she said. So beautiful evening. See what we can get done. Uh, maybe get some panels and more side panels and roof panels going here. All right, so they had you put the this top crossbar here in, and then the four corner panels on each side, and then these posts here just uh, slide in. They have a dowel on the bottom that fits in that hole there. So shaping up pretty good here. We'll get to get some more done. So one thing here I don't like, so you put those in and this, see how that's standing proud here, probably by about a quarter inch. Well, this is the side is already screwed in. You can't push it up. So what I did, I ended up getting a, putting a screw and a squeeze clamp there and then I can hopefully get a screw in right here and pull all that together and have it, uh, have it flush because those roof rafters like this one was already in place. See how it sits nice and flush with the side there. So we'll try to get get these as good as we can here. There we go. Yeah, so so far the two things I think Kara and I agree on that we don't care for is have to tape the end of these panels, which this end with the dotted white lines on it is i guess it says it's a, a dust and i guess the uh water can flow out of it and the other end is a solid solid gray tape so that that kind of is no good having to do that and then the ends where i had to uh, shoot the screws in there to get these posts and that crossbar i didn't care for that so seafarer is getting ready to slide this next panel in, those go in pretty, pretty easy.
And again, they all fit in a receiver groove there and they just slide in place. Can you push on this outside corner there? There we go. There we go. So that one's in. So all four, well, no, eight. All uh, eight side panels are in. So now we'll just start, I guess, I'm probably put the crossbar in on the uh, end walls, I'm guessing is next. All right, so I know it's getting a little low light here, but uh, you see we got the one side of the rough assembly up. Uh, like I said, all four sides are got the panels in them. Uh, we'll work on the other roof truss assembly maybe tomorrow. We're supposed to get a bunch of rain tonight, so and tomorrow we'll see how that goes. But yeah, it's getting there. We'll. Uh, Try it again tomorrow. All right, so today is March the 14th, Thursday. Uh, back at it here. We thought we were going to get some rain last night. We didn't end up getting any at all yet, so we put everything up in the shed. We got to uh, drag some more stuff back out here, which Fair is doing, but uh, get you turned around here. All right, there's where we ended up last night. Got all the panels. This one... Uh, rafter section in and we're working on the the next rafter section here uh this one's a little different because it's got a window that goes in the framing uh or in between them so that's what fair is putting in now all right so you can now see how the window fits in here then we got this big long piano hinge that we got to get uh looks like a lot of screws in and then this, this whole thing has got a, some type of uh, heat sensitive spring bracket deal that'll go on the inside. And then once it gets hot enough inside the greenhouse, it'll open up automatically. Beeswax in it. She says it's got beeswax in it. That's what they said. Okay. All right, so that uh, assembly went in pretty good. So now there's some screws we'll put up uh, between the two halves up at the very top of the ridge and then we'll secure the bottom and then they got silicone that will go uh, that's provided in the kit that you go down the top of the ridge with to seal the two halves together there all right here's another view from this side with the uh bless you fair with the uh vent window in it and we got all the each one of the end of the uh, the rafters here all the way down through there get screws to the top uh, top plate there if that's what you want to call it so those are all in um, the next step will actually be uh, putting the hinge on on the inside for the automatic opener which it says you got to put part of it in the refrigerator for seven minutes to to uh, get it cooled down I guess to get it together but uh, it's going to start raining here anytime. I think we're going to call it quits for today. Probably pick this up, I guess, on Saturday, I would guess, because tomorrow's going to be a washout, it looks like. So, a little bit more done. Really, all in all, we probably got, I don't know if we got, what, you think three hours maybe messing with this thing over the last few days? Okay, maybe four hours or three hours and 15 minutes. But uh, it's going together pretty good. We'll have it done on Saturday for sure. And she can do some planting and greenhousing. All right, it's now Saturday morning, March the 16th. We're going to get started here. We've got a bunch, of, a bunch of rain there Thursday night and Friday. It, uh, it's pretty sloppy down here. So I'll try to keep from using the tractor, getting the tractor out in the yard today here. So we'll get the rest of this hopefully finished up shortly. First uh, thing, I need to put the opener on the uh, the automatic opener on the the uh, vent panel there in the top, and then uh, all this the uh, top uh, panels will slide in here. So we'll get started. All right, so you can see here the the uh, roof opening uh, mechanism is now in. 
it says do not push this open you can damage the internals in the uh, shock there I guess so this thing's supposed to open up as the uh, it gets too hot in the greenhouse and then it showed this bracket here attaches to this cross beam not on this upright All right, so the next step here was to tape, put that tape here uh, on the top and bottom. Again, this is probably the the part that I dislike the most about this greenhouse so far is having to do this. It took probably 25 minutes to put all this, 30 minutes to put all this on these panels here. So next step is to get uh, get the panels, roof panels put in uh, in place here. So the next step after the panels went in was to put, start putting these corbels on here. Those are at tops of them are at 31 inches. So that's for the back on the back wall there. All right, you can see now the how the corbels were. Now the two boards for the back shelf. See on this one, there's two screws on each end down there on the far end two screws and then the centers of these in the middle only get one screw each all right next step was to add this little t bracket right here so this goes underneath two screws on this side there'll be two screws underneath here for when this other end goes together i guess is to help support it together All right, so now you can see these uh, are this top shelf is now in place. So pretty straightforward stuff. Again, uh, four screws on this end, one in the middle on the centers. And then again, you can see how this T bracket here works. All right, next step was this piece here goes in first. It's got a screw at the bottom. And then uh, one, it goes in up, up under here. And then, uh, Two, two in the front, one in the back, and you do that on both sides. All right, so we put the this front board on here for the front shelf, and then it, you gotta maintain a 5 8 inch uh, offset here. So what we did, we just took the one, one of the boards that would be for the top, set it in there, and made it so this would be flush with uh, once you put the boards in for the shelf and then this board also now screws in from the back here you can see and then this will support I guess the shelves as they start going up the other wall here all right so next you assemble these two uh, braces together they get uh, one screw here on the end and then they get this uh, L bracket all right, so now we're moving over to this other side here. So kind of the same deal, uh, front and back, and it'll get a brace off of that upright right there. So we'll get ready to put that in. Lucy came in to visit. Lucy. Nope. All right, this was all pretty much straightforward, putting the slats in, uh, putting the screws down each side, just uh, it says to evenly space them, so we've moved the front board and the back board all the way against the edge and just spaced the middle two on both sides. So those are pretty nice, uh, I guess, workbenches, whatever you want to call it. And then around the uh, vent down here, it got some framing or the to trim it out around that. The next thing was the door. So you start putting the door jam in. That's these pieces here, one short one. There at the top and then one on each side so now we'll uh get ready to put the door in you can see it warmed up enough in here now this thing opened up automatically so it's doing what it's supposed to be doing which is good and there is a screen that also will fit in there uh we'll have to get it in here shortly too all right so next up was the door you attach the hinges here 
three inches down from each end and then center the center of the middle one pretty straightforward all right so the door's in the hardware's on pretty again pretty straightforward you put a spacer block at the bottom to hold it up off the bottom of the jam and then uh one on the side over over here to space it off the the jam on that side and then screw it in so pretty pretty straightforward uh the only thing we got left to do i think is put the door closer on the inside so it's got a like one of the ones that would be on a screen door or whatever uh, door closer it'll go on it and a chain and i think that's pretty much it i'm going to come up with some way to put some something on the side and then drive some posts down in the ground to hold it hold it down so we've got to do that yet but that uh, looks pretty good here so we'll get back with you tomorrow So one thing we did, we went to Lowe's and got some of these uh, plant hooks. Here's the part number here for them. They're about 12 inches or 11 and a half inches long. Um, and I'll show you how these are going to go on the greenhouse and how well this worked. So you can see the uh, hook is on the end of the greenhouse here. Well, that is just wide enough right there for this hook to fit in in that groove and then I'll put screws here. So then let's see if I can back out here. She can hang some uh, potted plants on, on the corners here. All right, so it's been a few days since we were able to get down here and mess with the, the greenhouse. It is finished up. I wanted to give you all a, a final look at it here. And uh, please let me know if you have any questions about this. This thing went together really fairly well. Uh, there's a few steps in there that uh, don't really care for so much, but it, uh, it went together really, really well. So here's uh, the outside. We did move the stones around. So really the, the footprint of the old greenhouse versus this one really didn't change much. Uh, we we had the old one on these, on these blocks down here. And then the inside is uh, got a brick floor in it, which is not perfect, but it's kind of... Uh, rustic looking all right so there's the uh there's the floor inside here so that'll help it'll get a good thermal mass and uh, help retain some heat in here too at night so yeah there's that it does have a door closer on it you see the doors going closed it's got a couple uh magnetic latches up here at the top one at the bottom i do she does want to fair does want to put a a handle on the inside so i'll get that at some point and then uh, a little locking deal here like that and one thing i did do also which the thing is fairly heavy i don't know what it weighs um but the the lake out there is north so we do get some pretty strong winds off that uh out of the north so what i ended up doing i fabbed up some some uh, little brackets here. I need to put some paint on the on the screw heads, but uh, then I took a piece of rebar, cut it, put a little tab on it, and those go down about. Uh, there's a better picture of it. Those go down in the ground about three foot, three and a half foot. So I put one on the the back corner here and one on the opposite front corner, which will help hold it down. But uh, yeah, it turned out really nice. I think it's a decent, a decent product for the price point. Uh, the panels are, are thick. Um, they're not the real flimsy uh, panels. And with it being made out of cedar, it should last uh, a good long while. We'll probably end up putting a, a uh, coat of waterproofer on it here sometime over the summer. And then uh, we're going to add some window boxes down here. Uh, we'll get those this coming weekend. We're going to put window boxes all the way around and then probably come out here and do some stone and uh, uh, a little garden bed on the on each side. So the other thing I got to do, I got to take this little oak tree down right here, which it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger and shaded out. But this is where we want the... Uh, the garden to be so we'll go through the 
beds here soon and get those ready to go. I think Ferris going to try to do some planting this weekend, seed starting, and get uh, get all that going. So, yeah, turned out uh, really nice. Again, Costco about thirteen hundred bucks. Uh, they do offer a little bit bigger one uh, on the website. I think it's maybe another foot and a half. Uh, wider and maybe a foot or two longer. I think it's up, up around 2000. They don't have it at the store. You have to get it at, uh, ordered online. So, but to know this will work out really well for us. Uh, again, you can see, I got the hanging basket, uh, brackets on each side here. So that, uh, that'd be nice Before long. We'll have flowers and vegetables in the ground. So, Again, thanks for watching Horton Hill. I hope this video helped. Um, really not that bad to put together. Just watch what you're doing. We did it over three or four days, whatever it was. But you could probably uh, uh, get it done in a day if you really wanted to. So, really pleased with it. Better than where, where we were at. Again, you could build something. I mean, 1300 bucks. You could probably build something on your own. But... For me, the having a, a kit that you just put together is is way easier. So, all right. If you like this type of stuff, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, again, let us know. Uh, we're happy to answer. Thanks for watching.